I just made fresh homemade pasta. Link in the description to go watch the pasta video if you haven't already. And for dinner to go along with it, I'm going to be making chicken parmesan. Let's go. To start, we have to make the sauce. So, let's make it. Roughly chop your bacon into half inch slices and place in a medium saucepan. Once you add your bacon to your pan, add your olive oil and start frying. Once your bacon is nice and golden brown, chop up some peppers of your choice along with cloves of garlic. Add it to your pan along with red pepper flakes. Once your bacon is really crispy, take it out of your pan onto your cutting board and chop it really fine. Once everything is finely chopped, add it back to your pan. With crushed tomatoes. Season with salt and pepper. Add thyme for flavoring. This is your sauce for your chicken parmesan. Alright, so we have chicken tenders here. For you at home, you should use chicken breast because they're bigger and that's what we typically do with chicken parm, but this is what we just had in our fridge. So we're just gonna smash these chicken tenders up. Before you, you see a three-step process. First with flour, eggs, and then last, your paper. But before we do any of that, we have to prep our skillet. Pour your oil. Alright, turn your skillet on to get it up to heat. Now, make sure you salt chicken just a tad. Then, place your chicken into the flour. After the flour, into the eggs. and the bread comes. Make sure to get every single crevice, like don't miss a spot. Douse it. Once you have the panko, put it on our plate and do our next one. Flour, eggs, and the bread comes. All right, I breaded a few pieces of chicken and lay it away from you into the oil. Cook it for three to five minutes until golden brown. Once it's golden brown, we're gonna flip it. So crispy. Alright, now the chicken is all fried and done. We're gonna be layering on the sauce and the cheese. Alright, grab some sauce, put it on one. Then, we have some grated Parmigiano Reggiano and some mozzarella. <laughs> and we mix that together until thoroughly combined. Then, take some and put a good, nice amount. All 
All right, now we have layered our chicken with the sauce and cheese. Let's put it in the oven. We're gonna put it on low broil until all the cheese is nice, gooey, and melted. And enjoy. 